Hi, I'm Chris Bradbury. I'm the Drone Support Officer for the British Model Flying Association as well as the British Drone Flyers. I'm here today to share information and build the community because we believe United We Achieve. So in this video I'd like to talk to you about visual line of sight flying, possibly one of the most misinterpreted regulations on the internet. The Civil Aviation Authority has a guidance document, CAP 722, which clearly specifies the regulations of visual line of sight. It specifies you must not exceed more than 400 feet above the surface, and nor should you exceed more than 500 meters horizontally from the position of the remote pilot. So we already have some very clear limits. It then specifies that visual line of sight must be unaided. So although you can wear glasses for corrective vision, you mustn't use telescopes or binoculars, for example. The importance of maintaining visual line of sight is that we can always orientate our aircraft in relation to the airspace and other airspace users. So we must never fly behind trees or buildings, for example. If you think about the requirement to orientate our aircraft at all times, consider the size of your aircraft. Although the maximum limit may be 500 meters, when you take a large drone like the M600s on the shelf behind me here, they're six feet across, so at 500 meters away, they're still fairly easy to orientate. But if you take something small, like a DJI Mini 2, at 150 to 200 meters, that may be already a struggle for many. So consider that 500 meters is the maximum, but you may need to reduce it considering the size of your aircraft. We then have to consider first person view flying. If you're the kind of person who likes to wear goggles to go flying, bear in mind that you can no longer maintain visual line of sight and wear the goggles, so you need to take a competent observer with you. It will be the competent observer's responsibility to maintain visual line of sight on your behalf. That person needs to then be stood with you within clear communication distance. In other words, they can't be on the phone half a mile away telling you what the drone's doing. The other type of first person view flying that people don't consider is people who spend a lot of time looking at the screen on the tablet. When you spend more time looking at your screen on your controller than you do the drone, you are flying first person view. Consider the comparison of driving a car. If you spend more of your time looking through the windscreen and only occasionally glance at the controls, you are flying visual line of sight. If you spend more time looking down at the dashboard, the steering wheel, the gear stick, and only occasionally glance through the windscreen, then you are flying first person view. 